Do you have knee arthritis? We put together our seven best exercises. Okay, number one, um, you're going to want to work on making sure your knee completely straightens. What you may see, and Brad's going to be at a better angle, is that one of them straightens all the way, and the other one bends. And there's a slight bend to it. It won't straighten all the way. You're going to work on knee extension by... Putting your foot up, you can actually do it on the floor even, but you usually a stool works the best. Brad's got a rolling stool, works even better. Yep. And you're going to push on right above the knee, not on the knee, above the knee, like in the quadricep, and pressure on, pressure off. The key to this is you can do it throughout the day. Right. You can do it every hour if you'd like. This worked for my wife like a charm. And the first day, I only want you to do 10. Don't get too aggressive. If, aggressive. if it's painful, stop. Yeah. But you can also try external rotation, meaning you turn the foot out, and now you push down. That's the one that worked for my wife. Mm -hmm. And for some of you, maybe it's going to be turning in yeah. and pressure it on, pressure off. Yeah. Knee bend is the same thing. Ooh. You want to check out your knees. Does one bend better than the other? If you're lacking knee flexion, you're going to want to do it throughout the day, maybe 10 repetitions. I'm going to show you a little trick that's going to move this along a little Take quicker. Take a towel. You can just need a small one like this. And you're going to put it underneath the knee like this. And then you're going to squeeze. Ah, pressure on, changes pressure the, off. Uh, the pressure It a helps bit. it gap a little more. Yeah. But um, what you're going to do is you're going to turn the lower bone towards the other leg. Oh. So my other leg would be right here. I'm turning it. In I, the whole time, I got it turned the whole time while I'm bending the knee. Sure. The whole time. I've had a lot of people, some people love this thing, and some people say it, it does nothing for them. But I've had people that it kind of almost seems like it remobilized the area where it moved things back into place yep. and stuff. You know, you've got a lot of muscles above the knee and below the knee that actually cross the knee and put pressure on it. Mm -hmm. So if these muscles are tight, mm -hmm. they actually can cause increased pain at the knee. What you want to do is you find tender spots and you want to work them until, until they either decrease or go away. And so sometimes you might work a spot a long time. If you feel no pain, no tightness when you're doing this, you don't need to do it. I mean, there's no reason to do it. Now, the calf muscle also crosses the knee. People don't always realize that. Oh, yes. I'm going to use a small one on that yeah. one. I got tender calves. Yeah, you, that means you need to work it. Mm. And, and you can work the hamstrings, too. Studies have shown that the number one muscle that gets weak Often with a painful knee is the quadricep. Mm -hmm. So a simple way to strengthen the quadricep is you just get a pillow, you put it underneath the knee like this, and you're going to squish the pillow down, and that tightens up this muscle. Hold it for 10 seconds and repeat like yeah. 10 times. So uh, for hip strengthening, all we're going to recommend is clamshells. So basically, you you, uh, uh, you put your top leg on the lower leg, line it up, and you got it slightly bent here, and I'm doing clamshells. Now, you're going to start off with no resistance whatsoever. And and then you can, yeah, Brad was bringing a band there. You can actually throw some resistance in there. These little loop bands. It works the buttock and it works the external rotator. We've got the knee glide. Um, you, what were you going to say, Brad? Well, we got this from Kelly Starrett. Start. Yeah, keeping things moving. Yeah. Right. In bed, when you first, after surgery, mm -hmm. and it can get things going right away. But if your knee arthritis is so bad it hurts to walk on it, that would be a good way to loosen it up. Yeah.